Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorials, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. Hello, this is Franklin Avungana. Welcome to my online tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to amend learners details on the neck portal after a successful registration. Now if you want to learn how to register learners for KCB or KCSE, remember to check the description, you'll find a link taking you through the video on how to do that. So welcome. Now I'm already on the neck examination registration system click on the either tabs maybe for KCBE registration or for KCSE registration basing on the level of the learners that you want to edit now with me I'll show you how to edit or to amend learners bio data or school selection for KCBE that is for primary schools so I will click on this tab that is registration. Now we will be taken to this page. Enter the login details. We will be taken to this page. Now you will see the two categories of the activities you can do after logging in first of all you can register candidates this is the tab i used in the video that i've just referred you to on registration of candidates and then we have another one for confirm registration now here is where you can download the nominal role so we have the master nominal role or we can have the subject nominal role so click on continue you'll be taken to this page now you can view registered learners or the nominal role or you can come down here and click on the export drop down menu and then select the format of um, the nominal role that you want to download for printing so with me, I'll go with the BDF. Will be directed to your PC and select where you want to save your document or the nominal role. I'll save it in the documents. So click on save. Now from there, you can now proceed ahead and print the hard copy. Take it to the learners to go through their details so they can verify where they are not correct they can actually correct and then from there you can now key them into the system now after printing the nominal role and learners have corrected their details you can now key in the amendments now this time round we shall come to register candidates and then under the select tab or rather uh, drop down we shall click on the second option that is edit existing candidate or candidates once you have done that click on continue now you'll we'll be taken to this page enter in the index number of the learner you want to amend or correct the details so i'll key in the random number once i've done that i'll click on the search button just give it some time to load Now you can see the learners details have been loaded 
successfully. Now I can correct the bio data, this information that is uh, the candidate's name, birth certificate number, paper the learner is supposed to sit for under religious education, the gender, year of birth, or status. Now, with me, I'm going to correct this name. I know there is an apostrophe missing in that name. So I'll click and then include that accordingly. Now, once you are done, you can now scroll down to move ahead and correct the schools. Now, under the schools, you can see they have not been loaded yet. And when you look at this tab, you are told that click here to display choices. If not, load it. Click on this tab to load the schools. Good. Now the schools have been already loaded in the system as per our previous registration uh, details. So you can click on any option, either the national schools and select the school you want to replace with the current one. You can also select from the extra county schools, either the first option, second or the third and select the school you want accordingly. Maybe the learner has decided to change the school or the parent has decided to change the school for the learner. You can do it at this particular point. You can do the same for the county school number one and number two. You can also do the same for the sub-county schools. Now, just confirm and verify that everything is okay. I can see my apostrophe is no longer there. I think when I was loading the, the schools, so I'll include it before I can submit the data. Now, when you look at the three tabs, we have a tab for submit, we have a tab to cancel the changes or amendments, you have a tab to delete. Now remember this tab will delete the learner completely from the system. You wish to delete the learner and remove him completely from the system you click on this tab and all the registration details the bio data and the school selection or other choices will be deleted completely now if you feel like the changes are okay just click on the cancel and leave the information the way it is now for this case i want to do those uh, changes or amendment i want to keep them so I will click on the submit button. Now you can see successfully edited so we have successfully edited the bio data for that particular learner now let me refresh a little bit once you have refreshed i will search for the same learner just to confirm if the changes have been effected So you can see the changes have been effected accordingly and there is that an apostrophe uh, up there. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If so, give this video a big thumbs up, comment and share. Above all, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell on.
so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching. See you then.